Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's uh, try to model this geometry. This. Yeah, something like this. Okay, so let's start. So um, first, um, uh, we're going to model. We're going to use a gener uh, generic model. Okay, so generic model and okay. So first, let's go to front view. So elevation reference plan RP. Another reference plan. So we are going to model a, a sphere with a thickness. Okay, so these two reference. So this one will be. Oh, we, we will use this one as. as a, a, it will be a, a, a diameter. Okay, so. I'll just use dimension tab. So this dimension, this will be the diameter. I'll call it D instance. Okay, and a, another one. So this one will I will equal it. So now we know that this is the center of the sphere. Okay, so we're going to use revolve. Okay, so revolve and for axis line, I'll just draw it on top, lock it, and then boundary line. I'm going to use this uh, center and arc from here, start from this point down to this point, and just lock it. Okay, and also this one. Yes, yeah, that should be enough. Okay, so now click on this one. So create this dimension, the radius uh, dimension. So uh, let's create a new uh, parameter. Let's call it R instance and OK. And then we need another radius. So another one. OK, so here. So this will give us a thickness. And um, let's just lock it, create another radius. So let, let, let me just move this away a little bit. So we had two different radius. So this one, I'll call it, um, I'll create a new one. So let's call it a, a lowercase r. And then uh, I'm going to go to family types, create a thickness. I'll just call it th okay, instance and OK. And I'll type in 100 for now. So uh, from this, we can get so little uh, lowercase r equals uh, capital R minus, minus uh, thickness. OK, so apply. OK, so now this so distance from here to here will be 100 so if i draw a line from here to here see 100 and also from here to here and i think this is it so this will be the um the profile and then uh revolve create this one so finish and then if i go to 3d view you will see this is this is it okay so this is a solid Part. So the next one we uh, we need a void in the middle. So let's do it. Let's go back to this view again. Exactly the same, but just go to here void and void revolve. So once again center and arc center and then uh, you don't need to pick that point. So I'll just draw it here and then lock it. Create a radius and another one tab okay select this radius so just use this a lowercase r so this will uh, make sure it match the solid part and then we just need to go back here and finish this profile and then we just need to draw an axis line just draw it there that should be enough and okay so now we uh, if I go to 3D view, so we have a solid. So this is a solid part. If I type H, H, uh, okay, still there, H, H. So now you will see this orange color. So this is void, okay? So we're not using this void to cut any of the solid. Instead, we are going to use this void to cut the solid from other family, okay? So which means we need to go here sorry not here go to uh, family category and parameters so we need to check this one so we must check this cut with void when loaded 
So this will allow you to use the cut geometry tool to cut. Okay, so okay, so finish HR. So this is our uh, family. So now let's just go create a new project and. and uh, load this family into the project okay so okay so we have one so let me just change the diameter to maybe a 10 meter okay so bigger oh yeah, 10, is that 10 meter uh, is that right let me have a look sorry go to front view yeah, that should be correct. Oh, looks like we forgot. So see this, that the reason why it's not changing is because uh, we forgot this, we forgot to add a formula for this radius. So when we change the diameter, so if we don't have this formula, the, the radius will not change. So which means this uh, circle, this sphere will not change. So we need to type the formula for the radius day divided by two. Okay, so apply. Okay, so now load this into the project again, override, and then you will see this become bigger. Yeah, that's 10 meter. And also if you change this thickness, for, for example, you will see that change this thickness of this uh, geometry. Okay, so now let's just copy this one. Okay, so copy this one to here, and let's go to 3D view. And you will see now we have two right but they are um, not cutting so it's not cutting each other so what we need to do is just go to modify so see this cut geometry so click on cut geometry and click on this one and click on this one so now if i select one of this so this one looks like um, it's been cut so this one is still whole so if i hh so you will see this one's being cut by the, the second one. So now type HR, so show both, and then let's do the other way around. So click this one first, and then click this one. So now you will see both of them being cut. So this one being cut by, uh, by this one, this one being cut by this one. So if I HH this one, you will see this, and HR, and if I HH this one, you will see it's being cut as well. HR. Now, what we can do, and also we can, what we can do is see currently they are, um, they are actually not joined. So you you, you can't you won't see uh, you can't see this line here because they are not joined. They are just overlapping. So what we need to do is join this this. So basically, use cut twice and use join. So now they are so see these two geometries join together and also um, the overlap overlapping part being cut okay so let's just uh, maybe I'll change this one to slightly bigger and you will see it automatically um, uh, up, update right so if I cop copy the one here so we can do it again so cut this one this one this one this one uh, and the opposite and then I'll join them. So now, if I hit hide this one, HH, so you will see. That's what we have. So I'll change it to shade SD, so you probably it's easier to see the geometry. Yeah, HR. And yeah, so. Uh, okay, so. Um, Let's add uh, another parameter to it. So to this family. So go back to this family, select this uh, solid part, and let's add a, a visibility parameter to it. So I'll call it this instance. OK and OK. Load this back, overwrite. OK, so now what we can do is we can, um, so for example, this one. Uh, we can just uncheck this and OK. So now you will see uh, it's still cutting this geometry, but 
this become invisible. So you can create opening using this. Okay. So let me just copy this one, drag this onto this, uh, and then cut solid void. And this is it. So you can you can move this, and it will uh, change the opening size. All right. And yeah, I think that's um, that's it. And of course, if you want to, so if you want to cut a flat, um, different shape a void, so you can probably uh, I'll just quickly uh, create another geometry. So I'll probably just do a uh, extrusion, something like that. Um, and 10 meter okay and then just check this one okay so load this into the project and oh not big enough looks like yeah I, I didn't um, make it param parametric but just to show you okay so um, just maybe just I'll quickly drag this to make it bigger okay so and then load this back over right okay so now we have something here so what I'm going to do is I'll go to front uh, elevation so I can move it down oh, it's still not big enough but it, uh, I'll just uh, leave it here oh <laughs> I need to move to the other side as well uh, too small Anyway, now we can cut solid void. Uh, maybe I'll just make it bigger. So, okay, load back. That's better. And then just cut this and this. So if you wanted to, you know, uh, you can add some floor or I think this will be quite interesting oops yeah um this happens sometimes um it's still touching but it's not a, uh, you will find it not cutting a void just try to adjust this a little bit and sometimes this will happen as well so just um, move try different location and also you can increase the size of this void to cut bigger void opening something like that and let me just cut this one as well <laughs> okay so let me cut another, another one here yeah, so you can move them up. So just uh, I'm I'm doing this in 3D view. Uh, yeah. So yeah, go up. Uh, try to adjust the location. Sometimes it won't work. Uh, I think what's going on here? Can't cut instance. Um, just need to maybe just go to this view. So yeah, looks like when they can't. Uh, looks like we have some issue here. Not it's really not happy because we have too many void. I believe. Yeah. Uh, it's not working now. Maybe I'll just get rid of this one. So I'll just move this away. Let's try again. Okay, so yeah, I think that's better. It's not cutting here. Okay, works now. Works now. I'll see if I can move this up. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can. It's a nice skylight. 
on the top. Now, how about we move this back? Ah, it's, well, it's not happy with this one. Mm. Oh, it's okay. Um, no, not happy. Okay, I'll leave. I'll um, I'll leave it. I think that's that's quite interesting shape. Um, okay, that's it. So I uh, I will upload this family. So this one, and uh, it's actually very simple. <laughs> Um, try it yourself. Okay, so if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.